Let's work an example using the quadratic formula. Recall that the quadratic formula says that the solutions to the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 are given by x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. In this equation, x is the variable and a, b, and c are constants, which means you'll know what a, b, and c are, but x is the un unknown. That's what you're solving for. For example, let's solve the equation 2x squared plus 13x equals 4x plus 35. Both sides of this equation are polynomials, and the largest exponent is 2, so this is a quadratic equation. That means we can use the quadratic formula to solve this equation. But first we have to write this equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. To do this, we want to move everything from the right-hand side to the left-hand side. That is, we want to cancel everything on the right-hand side, so we're left with just a zero on the right-hand side. Once we do that and clean up the left-hand side, it'll then be in the right form. Let's first get rid of the 4x term on the right-hand side. To do this, we'll subtract 4x from both sides. Remember, if you do something to one side of the equation, you have to do the exact same thing to the other side, otherwise the two sides are no longer equal to one another. On the left-hand side, we can combine 13x and subtract 4x. We can combine those two terms, and 13x minus 4x gives you 9x. On the right-hand side, 4x minus 4x cancels one another, leaving us with just 35 on the right-hand side. Now we get rid of the 35 on the right-hand side. To do this, we subtract 35 from both sides of this equation. There's no constant term on the left-hand side, so we can't combine it with any of the other terms. So we're just left with 2x squared plus 9x minus 35 on the left-hand side. And on the right, 35 minus 35 equals 0. So now the right-hand side is, is, uh, has been cleared out. So now our equation is in the right form, so we can use the quadratic formula. And we see that a equals 2, a is the coefficient of x squared, b equals 9, b is the coefficient of x, c equals negative 35, c is the constant term of this equation. Let's now plug these values into the quadratic formula. Again, the quadratic formula says that x equals the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Plugging in our values, we get x equals negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 9 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 35 all over 2 times 2. We can simplify a bit, and we get x equals negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 81 minus 4 times negative 70, because 2 times negative 35 is negative 70, all over 4. Let's keep simplifying the number under the square root sign. We now have x equals negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 81 now when you hear 4 times negative 70 is negative 280, and when you subtract a negative, that's the same thing as adding. So that gives us the square root of 81 plus 280 all over 4, which gives us negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 361 all over 4. The square root of 361 is 19, so we now have x equals negative 9 plus or minus 19 over 4. The plus or minus sign means that we to compute this, we compute it once using the plus sign, and then we calculate it again using the negative sign. 
Doing this, we get x equals negative 9 plus 19 over 4, and x equals negative 9 minus 19 over 4. Simplifying, we get x equals 10 over 4, and x equals negative 28 over 4. And if we simplify the fraction 10 over 4, we get x equals 5 halves, and negative 28 over 4 is negative 7. So the two roots of our equation are x equals 5 halves and x equals negative 7.